Hello YouTube and welcome back. I am here on Twitch right now live doing this unboxing. So if you ever see me looking over and talking to chat at all, you know why. This is a live unboxing and you can always find me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Keaton Ellis Cubing. Today we're going to be unboxing a couple of packages from Rubix. Uh, my name is on the front of these and so is my address. So I'm going to make sure that you guys cannot see those, but I want you guys to be able to see everything else. So we have the important stuff to look at anyway. Oh. All right, first package. You are you guys already know what's in this. Level up your solve with the new Rubik Speed Cube. An entry-level speed cube features an improved mechanism, making puzzle solving faster and smoother. It is set up to be played right out of the box with lubricated tracks and a strong core, resulting in faster twists and turns. The cube has a sleek look and smooth touch and carries the official Rubik Speed logo. We've included for you a sample of the Rubik Speed Cube. The Speed Cube will be available from late September on Rubik's.com. So... Is it late September? It's the 21st of September uh, as I'm recording this. So uh, when it goes to YouTube, it should be available fairly soon. Let's take a look at these puzzles right here. Ooh. Here we go. I'm not sure if these two puzzles are any different. Maybe I should have checked that. All right, this is just a couple of helpful tips so I don't forget things in my description. But otherwise, I think these might be the same puzzle. But let's take this, move it to the side, and let's take a look at these two puzzles. They should be really cool. Um, the boxes themselves look identical, so I think it's the same thing on the inside for both of them. But we'll open them both up anyway. Wow. This is like a shoe. Is there anything else inside? No, just the cube. So, you guys may have known the Speed Cube from 2017, the Rubik's uh, collaboration with GAN. This is quite a nice puzzle, and I'm excited to see what this one looks like. Um, Ooh, it's magnetic. Okay, it comes pre-lubed. You guys can see that. It is... Uh... Come on, please focus. It's got some lube in there. So, out of the box... Uh, do you guys remember those old Shangshao Auroras? Yeah, like a phone, Gonza Pro. That excellent comparison. Do you guys remember those old Shangsha Auroras? Oh, you see, it's it's very quiet like that. But it's not as um, frictiony. I like it. Like even when you were using the the Aurora with a ton of lube, uh, it you just it, it just felt very slow. And this doesn't have that at all. It's actually rather nice. This one's a little bit loose, but uh, let's see if we can tighten it at all. I got a feeling that, you know, one thing about these entry-level speed cubes, they tend not to be able to have the caps come off that easily. Although it looks like you can probably pry the tile off, but I don't have a flathead screwdriver. Let's see if I can try it with a knife. Okay, it pries off. That was actually much easier than I was expecting. Uh, it is a standard screw with a, a slightly smaller screw head. Uh, but it's easily pryable off. You can probably use a flathead screwdriver instead of a knife because that's a little safer. Um, but the turning is very nice. Bubbly. I'd like to think of it, you know, in my review, I compared the Rubik's uh, Connected Cube to the Alpha 5. I'd like to compare this to the Shengxia Aurora of cubes of uh, years past. But with a huge performance upgrade. Let me check the other one.
Hey, Mace James, thanks for the follow. The other one feels the same. Turning wise and literal feel wise. Let's give him up a scramble. This one's a lot looser. This one's a little bit tighter, and I, I think I might like the tighter one a little bit more. But let's try it. Let's try giving them both a solve. Let's see what we got here. Hey, PLL skip on my first solve on this thing. That's got to be pretty lucky, right? Let's try the other one. Yeah, I definitely want to tighten these a little bit. They're really fast, which which is a nice thing, but it's a, uh, I'd prefer mine just a tad, uh, a tad tighter. Ooh, and a DNF on the other one. That's all right, though. Um, I think both of them are good. And the fact that you can tension them is really awesome. So I'm excited and it uh, should be a lot of fun to play with these. So, been forced to hydrate by chat. But let's take a look at this other package here. We have this. It's much, much bigger. This one was a relatively small package, but it had cubes in it. I'm not sure if this one has cubes. Come on. This end does not want to play nice with me. There we go. Let's get this bad boy opened right here. There we go. Let me put the knife away. Dude, bonsai, this may not be just for beginners, though. Like, it was actually a pretty quality cube. And magnetic, too. Okay. I ups I opened this upside down, of course. What is in this? We have another letter. Huh. Oh, I think I know what this is. I think this is an apparel upgrade. Whoa! <laughs> Wait! It's got my name on it! I love this. The other ones just had Rubik's Ambassador. But yo! Come on, guys. This is sick. Hold up. Check this out. I feel... I'm, like, tagged. Where is the other sleeve? All right. I have to do it lefty. Because that's how these go. But if we're going to switch over right here. Chat, you guys have a chance to say hello. It's got my name on it. I'm excited. Very happy. Um, let's go back here. Check the rest of these things out. Um, this one is a hoodie. So I'm wearing, this is sort of like a sports jacket. Like a track jacket kind of looking thing. This one is not that, but is a warm cotton hoodie. Pull over. Rubik's on the front. Rubik's on the sleeve. And on the back. It's got my name. Rubik's Ellis. That's me. Also a nice upgrade here with respect to the um, the t-shirt. Oh, they, they got rid of the uh, the world logo. And then finally, this looks like a button down. No, it's a it's a polo. A polo shirt. Same kind of thing. I dig it. I like it. 
And a uh, big shout out to Rubik's for sending me this package here of apparel, as well as these two, which I'm very excited to play with a lot more and uh, fiddle with. The Rubik's Speed Cube, brand new, coming to mass market near you in late September. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this YouTube video, and I will talk to you all soon.